Meantime, a lot of frustration with the state's unemployment department continuing tonight here at 6. A group of claimants say they received overpayment notifications, and they think that's wrong. Joe Moeller spoke to some of them, and he's live tonight with more on exactly what happened. Joe? Yeah, a lot of people are getting desperate for answers who received these overpayment notifications from Dieter this week. Now, the ones we spoke with hope this is some sort of glitch. You can't get through to anybody. Unable to get through to Dieter, claimants are looking for answers. I'm asking to be paid back money that I never received, yeah. A group of claimants say they received an overpayment notification from Dieter this week. Some claim they never received that money in the first place, like Justin Rodriguez. He is being asked to pay back 16 grand. I woke up to two emails, one stating that I was overpaid by PUA and the other one that I was overpaid by FPUC, which I never received. And more people in the same boat surface after a post on a popular unemployment help Facebook page. I'm at the brink of my uh, sanity. Jason Latona says he is being told to pay back more than $10,000. He says he was told he was qualified, then later got a disqualification letter. He showed us this overpayment letter he got saying he owes zero dollars. He then got two more this week saying he owes. Obviously, I'm not going to pay $10,000 plus dollars. I don't have $10,000. Um, the reason I took the money, I believe everyone else who um, received the unemployment money, is because we're at a point where we need the money. It's either, you know, be homeless or rely on the government. Many say the appeals option is not working on the website, but most will still try. Part of me says, okay, let's get this appeal in. Let's make sure that they just know that they're asking me for money back that I that they never paid me. On the other hand, it's like, who the heck's even paying attention to any of us anymore? Now, we did reach out to Dita regarding this overpayment situation. They said they're working to answer our questions. As soon as we do get those questions answered, we'll be sure to update the story. Reporting live, Joe Muller, 8 News Now.